Hey everybody, this is Mr. Yu, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take Cornell Notes. Uh, when you first get your Cornell Note document, or when you first make your Cornell Note document, it should look something like this. There's basically three sections. There's a top section, a middle section, and a bottom section. I'll be going through each section right now. So on the top right is an area where you can put your name, your class, and your period, and the date. And the top left side is where you can write down the objective of the lesson or the um, lesson or the assignment and the topic is usually what the lesson will be talking about or the main focus of the lesson so in a couple of days we'll be doing the scientific method so the objective or the topic of that lesson is going to be called the scientific method. So you're going to write the scientific method on this box right here. Now, directly below these two boxes is where we're going to write our essential question. And the essential question is basically the main big question that the lesson will try to answer. So the essential question will always be provided to you when you come in for uh, when you come into class, it'll be on the starter PowerPoint slide at the beginning of each class, and you're required to write that down on your starter when, before class uh, uh, officially begins. Okay, so the essential question when we do the scientific method lesson is: How is scientific knowledge generated and validated? So you'll write that into this box right here. Okay, now that we know about the top of the Cornell Node document, let's talk about the middle. Now, this is um, one of the most important parts of the document, so we'll go through of each of these uh, little sections right now. So, on the left-hand column, you can write down all kinds of things. So, I'll show you guys all those right now. So you can write down vocabulary words. So vocabulary words are academic words that you do not necessarily know the definition of. So you want to write down the vocabulary word here and then the definition on this side right here. Now keywords and vocabulary words are often the same thing but they don't always have to be. Keywords are words that you see multiple times in the lesson. So in the scientific method lesson, you might see the words observation, hypothesis, experiment, data, multiple times. Those are the keywords. So you're going to write down those keywords over here because they're very important. And then you'll write down how they are related to the lesson over here. Okay. Another thing that you can write down on the left-hand column are headings and headings are basically subdivisions in a lesson so when we talk about the scientific method there are going to be six steps in the scientific method so you might want to write down those six steps as headings and then describe them on this side uh, questions on the left hand side of the column you can write down any type of question that pops into your head while we're taking the notes while you're learning the lesson and you can ask your neighbors or you can ask the teacher or the instructor or uh, you can look them up when you get home these questions that just pop into your head and these questions are important because they help you become engaged in the lesson and uh, they help you remember what you're learning there are two other types of um, questions that are very important to ask when you take Cornell notes and when you're actively learning something. And these are above the surface questions and below the surface questions. Above the, surf que above the surface questions are questions that ask who, what, when, and where. So for example, when we do the scientific method lesson, the question you might ask that is above the surface is who invented the uh, scientific method what is the scientific method when was it uh, invented where do we use it those types of questions 
Now, below the surface questions are usually questions that go kind of deeper than questions that are above the surface. And examples of that might be, when we talk about the scientific methods, why is the scientific method important in science? Or why do we have to use it? Um, how do we use it? And so on, and etc. Okay, now that we know what to write on this column, the left-hand column, which is smaller, let's figure out what we're going to write on this side of the middle section. Now, on this side of the middle section, we're going to write down a few things. You can take notes on this side of the section, and you can take notes in form of bullets. That means that you're just going to write short little uh, Per, uh, short little sentences that comprise of maybe less than five words. You can also write down outline form. So when you write down in outline form, you write the main topic, something that's specific to that topic, and details that support this specific idea that's related to the main topic. You can also do other things like you can draw pictures about the notes that you're taking. You can also Draw, uh, draw diagrams or charts or diagrams like I've shown and you can also write down anything that might help you remember what you're learning um, during this uh, lesson. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Now, now that we know how to do the middle part of the Cornell notes, let's figure out what to do with this last part. Now this last part is also very important and in this last part you're going to write down a summary of what you just learned you're going to write down five to seven of the most important things from your notes and also you're going to try to answer the essential question that was asked so how is scientific knowledge generated and validated well during the scientific uh, method lecture or lesson we talked about a few of those or we will be talking about a few of those ideas that go into answering this question and at the end of the lesson you should be able to answer this question all right so that is basically how you take um, Cornell notes so I hope this helped I'll see you later bye